Why do you see my name and then the eyes? I want to know. I think she uh, asked you what you're drinking. All right. So, okay. All right. Um, the second question is, can you date or marry a man that has his ex's name tattooed on him? <laughs> and if you say yes, where does that tattoo have to be located? Where are you comfortable with it being located? If you say yes. So who would like to go first? See, okay, so I've been, I'm on the other side of this <laughs> because my ex actually has my name tattooed on him. What? Yeah. At, actually, the same spot I have mine on. So, but he is actually has, there? N- Huh? Is his no, name this there? is my name. When he got mine, I was with him when he got it. I told him specifically, I was like, I'm not getting your name tatted on me. And he was like, that's fine. I'm still going to get it. And I was like, no, like, even down the line, I'm not getting your name tatted on me. <laughs> I was like, that's not happening. How, how far like, in the relationship was this? This is interesting. This was about, I want to say about three or four years in. Oh, okay. Okay. But, and he got it pretty much just like mine, probably a tad bit bigger than mine. And so I've actually thought about this, like, how is he going to date the next person with my name just right there smack dab? You know what I mean? Because you could be a sister. Huh? No, ain't no need to lie. Yeah. Ain't no need to lie about it. Because that's really going to get you. That's, gonna <laughs> that's really going to okay, cause a, C- a CDV in this relationship. Because I went into it thinking that was your sister, Courtney. And then I found out later on in Russia that was your <laughs> lover. Oh, hell no. You going to your mama's house. Right. It. And so I don't, I really don't know. It depends on when was the last ex. Like, is that your most recent last ex? Or have you had other exes since that tattoo? Why haven't you got it covered up? Have you thought about getting it covered up? Do you not want to deal with getting it? Like, what's the whole issue? I really this don't know. Interesting do because I thought we was all just talking from an aspect of we know, but you actually, this is your situation, kind of. Well, you're you're the tattoo. You're the ex. Right. Right. Hmm. You need to do research. You need to uh, call him and see what's going on with him and the tattoo. <laughs> And, uh, and report back to us next week. I mean, in my mind, I would think that he would eventually get it covered up. I know as of a couple of months ago, it's still there. Mm-hmm. But in my mind, he would eventually get it taken off or covered up or something. Okay, so now fast forward the story. So now let's try to erase the fact that you are the tattoo. Now you're meeting a guy and he has a tattoo of, it, of an ex. So are you saying... It, what determines him getting rid of the tattoo is how recent the girlfriend was. Like, if it was just an ex, okay, you're going to give him time because you're still getting to know him. But if it was like two exes ago, he should have been, you're saying he should have been and had it covered up by now? I, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to say, say yes about to that. Yeah, let me let me hear other people's answers because I really don't know. I I don't think I would actually know exactly how I feel until I was in the situation and feelings okay. were involved. Well, technically, you kind of is. You're the tattoo. <laughs> Which one of y'all want to go? If you had um, an ex, if you had a boyfriend or a guy that you're currently dating or possibly getting in a marriage with, and he had a tattoo of his ex's name, does it matter to you? Or are you looking at it like that's just his past? Or are you like, no, you got to get rid of that? Or if you allow him to keep it, where can it be? Allow him to keep it. Um, oh, yeah, because he well, might be your property. <laughs> well, my uh, my insight on it, as far as like, first of all, I'm like, nine out of 10, you probably was a little crazy to get it. But then again, <laughs> if you're looking at you're spending the rest of your life with this person. I understood why you got it. So to me, it doesn't matter. And the reason why it doesn't matter is because I come into this with you having 0.1% trust. So it's either you going to gain or it's either you going to lose. So I don't look at the tattoos, the part that I'm going to have to trust you or not. I just have to look at can I trust you in general? Are you going to go back or, um, you know, will it bother you with, you know, our relationship and stuff? Cause I, obviously the love was there for you. 
Right. In order he to, to do, do something it. like that, of course. For a show. Right. So that so I ha- I me personally, it doesn't matter because one, it is a tattoo. Two, you could change it or cover it if you want to. It doesn't matter where it's at. That really doesn't matter because now at the same time, I'm just looking to see if I could continue to trust you and you're with me now. So I'm not I'm not even going to worry about it. Like, because we kind of all got invisible tattoos, to be honest with you. Oh, God. <laughs> you felt that, Courtney? I felt that. I didn't feel it. <laughs> You're gonna book a session after I felt that you you, you made me feel, feel something. Oh. All right, so Whitney, how do you feel about it? Or have you had this situation Woo! happen before? Like, have you dealt with a guy that you know, uh, uh, giving a massage, and he's like, "Who the hell is Rebecca?" You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it is the <laughs> reverse. So I have a tattoo. Um, <laughs> this is amazing. I have, <laughs> this, you can't. I have a tattoo, and it. So I got it years ago. Okay. And it's it's funny because like you, I mean, you wouldn't be able to tell if somebody's name because it's not like their name. You would pretty much have to know the person to figure out like who it was. Mm. Um, but it's very small, and so like now. Like, even when, I, I don't know why, but I feel like when you're talking to somebody, for some reason, like, tattoos come up. Like, oh, do you have any tattoos? They do. And you're like, yeah. They're like, they do. Oh, how many tattoos do you have? Oh, I have three. Where do you have your tattoos at? That is here, true. here, here. Oh, what does it say? Can I see them? And that's, <laughs> and what, that's, what, crazy that's because... when you start getting like, please don't ask me. <laughs> I hate it because I'm like, I always, I always go to that tattoo last. I'm like, Okay, I have some stars on my foot. You know, I have some roses on my back, and I and I have one more tattoo. <laughs> like, oh, what's the tattoo? I'm like, somebody's name, but it, you know, it really doesn't matter. And like, it's to me, it's not even weird or like, yeah, it's not like weird. Like when I'm talking to somebody, if they ask about it, and I tell them, which honestly, when I tell them about it, they're not like oh, you got somebody's name on you and da 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 type of thing. So it's really not that big of a deal. Although like this year, um, that's one thing that I plan to do is to get a cover up. And mm. uh, I know it's this guy that really does really good tattoos. Michael? Uh, from Lada? Yeah. Yeah, he does. He, he does. does really good work. Does excellent work. Yeah, he does really good work. So um, I'm going to get a cover up. Um, But I really don't think it matters. Like I could see my, I wouldn't, it wouldn't phase me if I dated a guy and he has like his ex name on him. I think it's like more so if it bothered me, it would be more so like, where is it at? Like if I got to look at you with your shirt off all the time, and you got such and such name on you, then it may bother you just a little bit. But I mean, if you're going further and you're like progressing in this long term and, you know, you're thinking about getting engaged and married, then I think that's something that you would want to cover up, you know, but I think it's also just a conversation to have like, Person. most definitely most not definitely. that it's crazy expensive but you know tattoos they cost in itself i mean you get the cover up so, so how 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 far person. were y'all into the relationship when you decided to do that out of friendship because oh. oh. courtney says they years. were four, they was years, four years but i i yeah it was it was probably about the same but it was I honestly just got it just to get it. Like, it really wasn't even like a thinking thing. I was like, oh, I'm going to get a tattoo. I'm like, oh, cool. I'm going to get the name on me. But it was like, okay. the way that, like I said, the way that it is, it's just really not. It's some some kind of like funky writing and stuff. So you really wouldn't even be able to tell that it's a, it just looks like a heart with some little fancy writing. You know what I mean? So I guess that's really why I'm really not pressed about it. You can't really look at it and say, oh, she has John name tattooed on her. She has such and such name. You know, you really can't tell. So right. But uh, I am gonna get a cover up, but it really doesn't it really doesn't bother me. And I don't think it's bothered anybody that knew about my tattoos like as we were conversing or anything like that. So um I'm you know, not sure if I'm pronouncing that, that adds something to it too, because it's like, well, if it was a big thing, why why did they just go ahead and tell me? So I think that probably adds on to it too. Right. Jeremy Winder. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Oh, Jeremy, name. that's my friend. Okay, Jeremy. Okay, he said the question was, um, not not that I got one, but why does tat- 
a tattoo matter. I thought it should be what's on the inside of the account. Believe it or not, I mean, that's the cliche thing to say about, you know, um, what's on the inside counts. But come on, like, we all know we're human. Like, you, you, you do care about what's on the outside because if a person is unattractive, you're not really going to talk to them. But when it comes down to the tattoo, I think, it, do, it doesn't matter in the beginning phases. Like when, like Whitney was saying like, hey, how are you doing? Uh, how many tattoos you got? What's your favorite color? Where do you like to eat? But once you start putting some time in and some work in, and then you actually like that person, love that person. And now you want to, you know, thinking about taking it further with that person, you are going to say, hey, what's up with, can you kind of like, I mean, especially if I'll say this, if you're dating, then I don't think it should matter. If you're just dating, you're just my boyfriend, you know, but if it takes like, now you want, you feel like you want to spend the rest of your life with me. You were, you're proposing to me at the Thanksgiving dinner. I just thought I was coming here for turkey and cranberry sauce and now I got an engagement ring, you know, then that's when you should start <laughs> your whole mind frame should change. Like now you're going from being a girlfriend. Now you're becoming a wife and a mother, you know? So I just think possibly, but that's not that's the answer to that question but the question again was um if you're dating or marrying a guy um does it matter about him having a tattoo of his ex okay so my story is i don't have a tattoo i don't ever intend on getting a tattoo um that's just for me but um similar to courtney's story i do have an ex who has a tattoo of my name and he got it here on this part or whatever but the thing about his tattoo, y'all, is that on this side, it's my name. But on this side, it's his mom's name. And he got like a little chain, like a little anklet, like a bracelet, where it's connecting both of us, you know. And so his mom passed in 2017, and he dumped me. <laughs> he left me in 2019, right? So, well, well he... Okay, we'll say officially he left me in 2019, but <laughs> emotionally he being gone, you know. But uh, fast forward the story, um, that has came up in our situation. How it came up, how I knew he was getting serious with a woman, because you know how people be like, oh, when you're, which that's gonna be another topic. Like, can you be friends with your exes? Which that's a whole other topic. But anyway, so we we touch bases every now and then, like every quarter. So maybe like four times out of the year, especially around holidays. So how I knew he was getting serious with someone, because when I when we would talk, I'm mm -hmm. like, hey, are you dating anybody? You know, he's like, nah, I'm just, you know, I'm just chilling. But what happened <laughs> was he called me and he was like, hey, let me run something by you real quick. I was like, sure, go ahead. He was like, how would you feel if I covered up your name? And instantly I felt enraged. I was like, what the fuck you mean you gonna cover up my name? <laughs> you mean because i know what we don't been through like i guess because i was like i know what we've been through like first off yeah i think i i think i eld him i don't like saying that word but i think i eld him I, you know i you. think i think i eld him and and so when he said that because you that's why I, I broke it down like i'm here his deceased mother is here and i love that lady like god knows like so how you going to fuck up the bracelet? Like, if it's a real bracelet, how you going to fuck up the bracelet? How you going to take my name <laughs> and leave your mama name? Not, no disrespect to my mom because I love you mom. But uh-uh, we together. Like, you know what we done been through, you know? And so I was like, this is how I broke it down to him. Because I, I had, like, I'm a realistic woman. You know, I had, mm -hmm. to, I had to really think about it. I, I got out my feelings. And I was like, okay, Ashley. And I just, I said, okay, so are you going to cover up the microphone tattoo? Are you going to cover loyalty over royalty? Are you going to, like, I just started, I just was shooting them. I said, are you going to cover this? You going to cover, you going to cover the, the prison thing? You going to cover this? You going to cover that? Like, and he was like, no, 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 no. I said, exactly. So why would you cover me up? All that's in your oh my past. <laughs> All that's in your history. All that made you who you are. I help you be a better man for her. But like, if it wasn't for me, she wouldn't have been That's crazy. Like, no, I'm serious. That's crazy that's that you how say I that, Ashley, that's, because that's part of your how history. it is. That's how it is, because even when, like, the guy's name that I have, like, every time I tell him, like, I'm going to get it covered up, his reaction is the same way as yours. Like, he's just like, 
why you want to cover it up? And da, 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 da. But for me, it's just like, I'm ready to get a cover up because there's, I mean, one, I just got it just to get it. At the same time, like, I feel like there's nothing attached to the tattoo. And I think sometimes, like, even with the cover-ups, if, you know, people do get a tattoo of the, the other person's name and they get another relationship and they refuse to get it covered up, I feel like there could be some, still some attachment there. And so, right. like, for me, I'm just like, okay, I'm about to get it covered up. And they're like, oh, no. And I can, like you mentioned, I can always tell when he's talking to somebody because I feel like he kind of uses, uses it as, like, a badge of honor. He's like, yep. You know, such so such got my name tattooed, and here come the girl. I know you got your name tattooed. And I'm like, oh, oh Lord, let me have to get this thing. Oh, no, see, no, no, see, now you, I, no, yeah, you need to get that covered up because, yeah, because yeah, that's a cause I, yeah. I, I don't have the time for this. Like, no, and don't be telling people that. <laughs> see, that's just like a guy that's, that's, that's that. giving you his Snapchat, and that's basically what he's doing. Like, he giving exactly. a reference, like, you a reference of a girl, like, yeah, I put not saying it like this, but like, yeah, like I, my little real, like when you fuck with because right, God's right, gonna yeah. say fuck with a real nigga. I'm right. so real. I got I got women putting their names on me, like, and then he calling up like a reference, like fuck wrong. Oh, that wow. is what yeah, it sounds. Yeah, like. yeah, it does sound oh, wow. like. No, so yeah, okay. so as a and a, a tattoo advisor, <laughs> cover it up, <laughs> cover it up, because yeah. that now if if he came about it like the way I came about it, which is like there's some emotional attachment, like not that I. I'm, I want to be with him or nothing like that. It's just that it's linked to his mama name and his deceased mom. And he killed me off. Like I'm a damn character in a movie, you know. Uh, Is it connected, Ashley? Like it's, the, conne it's connected. He like he was. He's an art. Like first off, he's an art. A, he's a lyrical miracle artist. Like he he raps. He's like really good. He's really okay. good. And so he thinks about things. Like that's one of the things that intrigued me about him because he would be somebody I would never like he probably would have never talked to me either because it would have been more like the if it was high school terms like he's like the jock and yeah. i'm like the nerd you know oh, but we gotcha, just yeah. matched we clicked you know but mm -hmm. um but yeah he he's it was it's it's nice like it's it's cute you know but uh that but that was my thing i said art uh, uh tattoo is art it's body art it's an expression of things so at the time when you when you have something and you go in there and say hey i want this i want that you got it drawn out or you talk to them, they'll draw it out for you or whatever. And you leave it. That's a permanent thing because old people always said it. Like, you know, that's permanent. Be careful. You know, that's permanent. So when he had, first off, it was a gift to me. Like I had no idea that he was doing it. He just showed up and it was there. And I was like, I was kind of like, I was like, why would you do that? Like, how would, wow. That's so crazy. Thank you. You know, but I didn't like it, but now that I'm an adult, because this is like younger, when I'm an adult, I was like, no, that's serious. So whenever I still don't see why you would get up, why you got upset though. Cause because I feel like he my... ain't covering up nothing else. He is covering okay. like he ain't covering up that's so dumb. Like, don't erase me like that. Like, don't oh my god, treat me like that. <laughs> together eight years that's almost a whole decade and if he called me and was like yo i'm getting your name covered up or removed i would i really i don't it wouldn't bother me at all this is the only but I that doesn't go away ashley if he gets it too like i uh, gets it covered up like that doesn't change like all the stuff that you're saying like you help him with and all right that. I, you know, yeah, this, that this is the there. thing though this is the thing let me let me say this this is the thing realistically if he was like moving on with his life and she was a good woman, and he was like literally getting married and about to start his family. I would say, peace and blessings, brother. You know, peace and blessings. And do you want? Do y'all would y'all like to hire me to cater at the wedding? You know, so I can be nosy. And all we going, we you know being nosy. You know, but some random because you caught up in your feelings. Like he's a he's an emotional guy. Like honestly, like if you give him a cup of water on a hot day, he'd be like. I love you. Like, he's like that. Like, no. So I didn't feel that it was real. That's what. I, that's the point I'm getting at. If it's genuine love, because I know him, if it's genuine love, I will wish him the best. And I will say, go for it. Like, yeah. Even though still mentally, I don't think you should erase your mama name off there too. Then if you're going to erase me, but you know. Actually, so they saying you out of line, Ashley. They saying you out of line and out of pocket. I agree. Who said that? 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 They say you are out of line and out of pocket. Let that man yeah. go ahead with his life. 
But, that, <laughs> but it ain't real though. Like that's what I'm saying. If it's, you if don't it's know real, that. Yes, I do. How you know? It's 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 say you got to bring him on to let him tell his side of the story because they don't know what's going on. I would never give him the shot the day of light. I would never. <laughs> he lucky I even resurrected his ass for this story. Like he, I just take care. You take care. He gonna erase you then. Oh yes, I do. I do care. Like because it's connect. It's not a single tattoo. It's connected to his mom, his deceased mom's name that we love. Okay. You can't, you can't, you can't you can get rid of her. my, you yeah. can't get rid of my name and then keep her name. We together. We y'all ain't together. <laughs> yes, we are. No, we love, we love that man together. <laughs> and so what I'm saying is, I was the perfect woman for him. And if you're watching this, I'm not I mean, invalidating that. I'm just saying, like that—that that was his mom. You were just and I was his girlfriend, <laughs> the best one that he ever had, by the way. But anyway, so you your friend, your friend, friend, your friend. you still mad, man? Who said what? He said, you still mad, man. <laughs> I am mad because it didn't end right. Yes, it didn't, it didn't end upset. right. It didn't end right. I told you, it did, it did not end right. I, 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 we, we, you know, we're talk, me and my therapist, we'll talk about it because I done got robbed. But listen, no, I can understand. And yeah, we see. I have to we got to bring you back down. We got to bring that down. <laughs> right. But I can understand where you're coming from, though, Ashley. Like, especially if it was put there out of a significance and stuff. And obviously he linked it for a reason. He did he had this whole poem. He, he wrote a, you a felt poem. About he presented it to me. And maybe his feelings have changed. You can't be mad at and that man. I mean, that's fine, but let it be real. Like when he's really like ready to propose to somebody. Bro. If he really, no, his feelings probably hasn't changed because he calling Ashley, asking her permission to get it covered up. If he was really not caring about it, and he would have just been like, that. yo, I told him I'm that. Moving I think, on. Let me go ahead and get I this tattoo covered up. But the fact nice. that he's still calling you to say, Ashley, you know, uh, even you if know. he's saying, oh, man, somebody I want to do you mind if I get it covered up? Like, why are you asking her permission to get it covered up? Well, maybe, maybe he wanted to avoid that awkward situation when they see each other again and Ashley be like, we ain't gonna see each other. Where's my next name? time I see him, where's my I name? violate my probation. I ain't. We ain't gonna see each other. <laughs> but I, like, the, I, the whole thing of it is, he probably did call her to ask her to get a reaction out of her. I think he was fucking with it. Would. Well, he, 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 you know, he, he get in the He get what he asked for. He got it. Because I, I was like, why would you do some dumb shit like that? I said, who is she? And the, uh, you know what? I'm realistically, I do think he loved her. I really do think he loved this girl because he won't tell me who she is for shit. He is protecting her and I'm going to find out who she is. I'm letting you know that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. He will not tell me. Us. He won't show me. Talking about that thing. Crazy. I'm like, oh, so you, and then that, I, that, that came into a whole nother. I'm like, oh, so you protecting this bitch? Like, you don't even know her. Give me her social media. I need to make sure you are okay. <laughs> I just want to know who she is. Ashley, you got a couple of people. Uh, Keith said that thing upset. <laughs> Ken, Ken said it didn't end right because it didn't start right. Jay said he got to come on the show. Uh, oh, like I'm doing a show Ken right said now. he lied on his resume. Was he financially stable? <laughs> <laughs> Did Jeremy... Who said that? Who said was he financially stable? <laughs> Ken? He... <laughs> yeah. Oh, he try, is he trying to be funny? Yeah, because he said he lied on his resume and was he financial stable? That's financial a whole nother stable. topic because actually, no, he wasn't financially. This was back in, you know, before I was grown and college educated and everything. And, and you know, I don't even want to talk about that because people going to get mad. <laughs> Jer Jeremy said, How you think he going to feel if he see a replay of this live? Um, He's probably going to be like, Oh, he he would want to come up here, and I would say, uh, you could, but who is she? And then, oh, here you go with that shit again, you know. So he ain't gonna come <laughs> up here. The stipulation would be, who is she? So he could come up here if he tell me who she is. Stop protecting her. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, yeah, like I'm gonna fight the girl or something. Like, no. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even do that. So that's okay. why I know he love her. He I love don't know her. Ashley. He love that girl. 
Okay, so, you so, so, so this is real. So the answer to the question is, if this is real, genuine love, Take your time. Take your time. Because deep down, I don't want him to come in the house. Like, why would you? Oh my God. (laughs) We've been through a lot, y'all. Y'all don't understand. Like, we've been through a lot. But he, 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 uh, yeah, he can cover me up. I don't think he should cover me up. If anything, I think he should enhance it. I mean, he should put like a rose or something oh my gosh (laughs) this is the thing okay fuck it i don't believe it no he shouldn't cover my name up because if he don't take off other tattoos or cover up other tattoos or enhance other tattoos don't do me like that i am a part of history people like to put tupac on them i'm tupac (laughs) for your life like what you (laughs) like you don't do that (laughs) i'm just saying Okay, but Ashley, so but Ash, I really understand what you're saying. No, I can understand what you're saying as far as he put it up there and he connected it. Okay, I, I get that part. So if he's gonna leave it, he can at least leave it as a symbol. The fact that you were connected to his mother. So I, I don't downplay that. That, that could work. Don't, yeah, but don't. Oh, hold, hold on, wait a minute. I get what you're saying, Kista. But you sounded like a man right now because that sounded like what he would say to another woman when she said, well, who is actually your sister? Oh, no, she was real close to my mom. She was like a sister. Oh, don't don't put me in no sister case. But it, it, still, really but it wouldn't be a lie, though. No, it that wouldn't. Really it wouldn't. Be it wouldn't because I love his yeah. If, he, if yeah. he leaves out the part that y'all were together, then I mean he leaves it out. He can't but leave me out he, of a part of his even, even if he put it in there even if he put it in there Keith saying he just say you know well this is you know my ex or whatever her and my mom had a really close relationship and you know I got this tattoo and I mean that's just what it is and, and then she they connected so I feel like me. I can't cover up one well let's <laughs> try to do the same thing to her so it should be a problem Ashley right. <laughs> I don't have a problem with it I honestly don't what what I what okay this is a whole nother topic real quick I don't like when People know who do do y'all like when a woman know who y'all is and y'all don't know who she is? Like, I don't think that's fair. I don't care. So I just try to be I just well, try I to look can. good just in case. I can't because I, can. I don't need nobody rolling up on me acting like they about to buy some pasta salad and some wings when she really like mm, that's the bit. I would hope that well like, man, I don't I can't control other people, but I just I don't know. I've never had a situation where so well I'm lying. Well, she didn't roll up on me, but she had a problem with me. But <laughs> I don't I, let I need to know. Like it's just a it's, it's just like you have cameras for a reason. Like you, I mean, you just need to know who it is, just for safety measures. Like you don't know. I don't want nobody pretending like, oh my God. Like I know what's okay. I'm, gonna, basically, my answer is don't try mm-hmm. to erase me from your history. Like if I was a horrible <laughs> ex, if I was a horrible ex, then okay, yeah. But we were great together. Um, it just it that it spiraled down because I know people probably are like, well, what happened? It spiraled down when his mom passed. Like he he he, you know, things like that rock your world. Like it either make you or break you, and it broke him, and it was just horrible. But you know, but that's how you know. Well, all right. Before, before you move on, I want to know the answer to this. Patrice Avon said, "How do you?" How are you going to ask a man, uh, another man, to cover his tattoo if you don't want your ex to cover his? Um, I don't think I, I don't think. Well, let's get that because I don't think I answered that. I didn't get that part. Um, I guess so like, my, I get, I get, I guess the part of the question, the second part of it was, I said, if you keep, if you allow him to keep it, <laughs> allow, if you allow him to keep it, where would it have to be? So my thing is, uh, I don't want a guy who got the tattoo of the girl on the neck. I, I don't really care for that. So I would kind of probably avoid a guy like that. But if it was like a cover up, like I said, I'm more, I'm a realistic woman. Like, I don't care because it's part of your past. Like you have tattoos on you. Like there's other things that's in your past, you know, but you know, if anything, I want to know the story, but I ask those questions when I first meet guys anyway. I'm like, well, what happened in your last relationship? Even though you talked about that the other day and people was like, let the past be the past. No, I need to know what happened for future, for me, for future. But yeah. let's go on to the third question. All right, so, okay, the third question is very interesting. When-